Oh, thank you. Divines. Bless. It's since she died. I wound up here, but really? Do you? Oh, well. Champion. Champion. Apologies for the intrusion. I am Paladin Marath of Meridia's Order. High Priestess Alara has sent me to find you and request your help. Please, follow me to our center. Forgive my haste. Being truthful, I'm not sure why Alara feels she needs you so immediately. I do what she asks of me. All I know is that word has reached us that Meridia has a new champion, and the High Priestess of her order wants to make contact. Thank you. It's not too far from Meridia's statue. I'll escort you there. I don't expect us to lose each other, but I'll mark it on your map. Just priestess. In fact, Velteth believes he's located a lost text. This is wondrous news. Our lady will be pleased. And I'm sure she will be proud of your work. I know I am. Thank you, High Priestess. That means a lot to me. Well, well, well. If it isn't Meridia's new champion, it's an honor. Welcome to Meridia's Sanctum. I am Alkalite Karis. If I can serve in any way, please let me know. Champion of Meridia, I have something to ask of you. Being her champion, I would expect you to know, but I'll remind you of her. Meridia is the Daedric Prince of Life and Lady of Life Energies. She rewards Our Lady is the enemy of Moloch Bal, the Daedric Prince who seeks to enslave mortals and has demonstrated her. Because of this, she is recognized as the only Daedra not considered to be evil, and we are proud to serve her. This is Meridia's Sanctum, and we are Meridia's Order. Here, we freely worship and operate as Meridia's instruments, bringing her cleansing light to this place. Meridia has commanded us to root out all undead evils across Skyrim and protect its people from their danger. We have not heard from Our Lady in some time now, but we continue to act in her honor. Champion, may I first of all say it is an honor to make your acquaintance. I am Alara, High Priestess of Meridia's Order and her sanctum here in Skyrim. We require the assistance of Our Lady's Champion, but if I may, it would be an honor to witness why Our Lady chose you. A small test of trust, if you will. Forgive me, champion, and do not mistake my caution for arrogance or lack of faith. It wouldn't be the first time that Our Lady has sent us a deception in order to test our diligence. We received word that a necromancer has taken up residence in solitude. Usually, I dispatch one of our paladins under the protection of Meridia to purge the evil from the city, but these are uncertain times. To be truthful, Our Lady has not spoken to us in, well, a long time. I can't risk one of my people, and I hear you have a reputation for this work. This necromancer has been practicing their vile arts in the Hall of the Dead, defiling corpses and violating the sanctity of death. Exterminate them with the full spite of Meridia's power, then return to me. I am sending Paladin Marith with you, she will observe you. Not that I won't trust your work, but it's better to be sure. It's my pleasure, champion. I'll follow you. Solitude isn't too far from here. I doubt the gods will be too happy if we attack someone within the city. It might be best to shadow them for a while until they're alone. Oh, it's already! Oh. 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 Oh.
No match at all. that I brought him up. She can be difficult when you go against her word. Not too long. They spotted us, of course. To cut a long story short, she generally enjoys her work as a healer, but I don't think she enjoyed that. You lead, I'll follow. <laughs> Stop that! Solitude to join the league and speak to you. I felt the bone. I put it to you, but still I refused. Back away from me, Kerr. A master of death does not simply die, but you will. Rise, my minions. Rise and serve me in death. Do you bring news, champion? It pleases me to hear this, champion. Marith? It's true. The necromancer is as dead as the creatures they raise. Excellent. I'm glad to know I can count on you, champion. I suppose it's time I tell you why I need your help. We're traveling, champion. Gather what you need and speak with me when you're ready. I know the others might appear self-righteous, but please don't judge them too harshly. They feel it's what Meridia expects of them. Are you ready to depart? We're traveling to the Shrine of Meridia. It's not far. I'll need to speak with you when we get there, away from open ears. I'll lead the way. 
Larisin, I'm traveling. You're in charge. Yes, High Priestess. Shall I provide you with an escort? Champion? I'm sure the champion is all I need, Larisin. Greetings. You make a poor food packet. This sanctum is full of good people who have their hearts in the right place. Best room. Don't mistake my caution for aggression. This sanctum is my life. I won't have any I guard this sanctum with my life. Treat it with the respect it deserves, my friend. <laughs> that I am. Some may call it a curse, but I see it as a blessing in disguise. Many moons ago, when I arrived here after the eruption of Red Mountain, I studied the art of necromancy in a dank cave just west of Windhelm. It was a lara. Whilst I have renown, I hope I'll be forgiven and... For now, I guard this sanctum with my life. Oh, <laughs> they're purely visual. I think it's Meridia's attempt at irony. I raised the dead, so she made me look undead myself. I'm sure one day I'll come to enjoy her sense of humor. Here we are. Listen, I... I can't trust you, can I? Yes, I know, you're right. I don't know if any of the others have mentioned it, but Meridia hasn't spoken to us in some time. Months ago, we would hold regular communications with Our Lady. She would give us guidance and command us, but no longer. Years ago, when I first became devout to Meridia, she gave me the ability to see things before they happened. This ability has been essential to our survival and has guided me in leading Meridia's order. I'm hoping with her newly appointed champion here, Meridia will change her mind and speak to me like she used to. To summon Meridia, all you need is something from the... I'll attempt to commune with her. You just stay close. Meridia, Lady of Life and Infinite Energies, I stand here as your humble servant with your newly appointed champion. Please, at your shrine, speak to me and offer me guidance, great lady. We eagerly... With your word and your order. We need your protection, your benevolence, your wisdom to prevent the injustices in this world. Please, Lady Meridia, please. Well, that was embarrassing. When you call on Meridia, she's not compelled to answer. If she doesn't want to answer me, then there is a reason. I think it's time I make it clear to the others that I've lost Meridia's guidance. I would appreciate it if you would accompany me on the way back and wait. What was that noise? Huh? For Meridia!
What a disgrace! No, though, it's not uncommon for necromancers to attack followers of Meridia, but to attack this... Do me a favor. Would you search the bodies for any evidence as to why they may have attacked? I don't wish to sully my hands with their things. Let's take a look. It seems these necromancers are planning something big. Let me think about this. I think I might have a plan to find out what they're up to. Speak with me again at the Sanctum. I'm too old for this. Speak with me at the Sanctum. I need time to think. They are not something I take lightly. Sometimes the images are painful to see. I have visions of things. Do you know how much it... I suppose it's a small price to pay to prevent, but... Yes, but they're usually not organized like this. They tend to be random at... Members of the Order will... You should speak to Garen if you haven't already. His presence reminds me of why I live this life. Greetings. What can I do for you? I haven't quite worked out the entire plan yet. I'm working on a way to find out as much as we can about these necromancers. In fact, I might have an idea about what could help us in the fight against them. Years ago, we held a powerful artifact that helped us in our fight against necromancers and wielders of magic. The staff is called Summoner's Demise and has the ability to drain Wizard's Magicka, preventing them from casting incantations, but it was stolen. A wood elf named Pindar came to us seeking refuge from a group of conjurers and we took him in. He repaid us by eating all of our food and stealing from us. Amongst the items, find the staff champion. Well, the only person who knows its location now is Findar. And I have no idea where he is. Try speaking to the others. They might know where he is ended up. How's going, my friend? Did you manage to locate the witch's lair? Aye, that I did. No need to concern yourself with it. They're already dead. One day, you're going to regret being so foolhardy. Perhaps one day. But not today, my friend. Or any day soon, I hope. Champion, this place do you mind if I ask you something? Stories. And here I was thinking my tales were going unwanted. Forgive Just me, I forgot to introduce myself. From my war days. I'm Una, some ale later. acolyte of Meridia's Order. I just wanted to know, why did you do it? Help Meridia. That's very noble of you. I can see why she chose you to be her champion. Though it leaves me to wonder why she did not ask one of us to purge her ta I don't know if you've heard from the others, but Meridia has not spoken to us in some time now. Anyway, I won't waste any more of your time. I appreciate you answering my question. I'll see you around. If one is to understand true benevolence, one must explore all aspects of life. For this, I have no fear of the dark danger. What can I do for you?